What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And with Roger Federer pulling out of the Olympics, it leaves a lot of good players who are not going to Tokyo in 2021. Let's go have a look at the list of withdrawals because there are a lot of names that are not playing at the Olympics this year. So let's start with the women's tour because there are some massive names who are not going to Tokyo this year. At the moment, world number one, Ash Barty. She is going to the Olympics, as is Naomi Osaka, who is going to be the big representative of the Olympic Games, being from Japan. Simona Halep, she is pulled out of the Olympics, so she will not be going. Sabah Lenka is meant to be going. Sophia Kennan, she's also pulled out of the Olympics. But Alina Spedalina, she is still going to the Olympics at this stage. Bianca Andreescu and Serena Williams, they've also withdrawn from the games this year. Iga Fiontek, she is supposed to be going. And Wimbledon finalist Carolina Pliskova also still on the list to be going to the Olympics this year. Let's go have a look at the top 10 for the men because there are a lot of players that are not going to the Olympics. But starting with Novak Djokovic, he is going to the Olympics. So the world number one is still on the list to play in Tokyo. Daniel Medvedev also going over to the Olympics at this stage. Rafa Nadal, he has pulled the pin. He is not playing the Olympics, focusing his energy on the US Open Series. Final City Pass, at this stage, is still going to the Olympics. Dominic Team, he's pulled the pin after hurting his wrist before Wimbledon. So Dominic Team, he won't be going. Alexander Zverev is on the list to go to Tokyo, as is Andre Rublev. But Roger Federer, he is the latest player to pull the pin on the Olympics, not going to the Olympics after hurting his knee during the grass court season. So as a precaution, Federer is not playing. Matteo Berrettini, the finalist of Wimbledon, he is going to the Olympics at this stage. And Roberto Batista Agu, he is also not going to the Olympics. He has pulled the pin and withdrawn as well. So there you have it. The top 10 for the men and the women. Who's going to the Olympics? Who is not going to the Olympics? And there are some big names missing. Some big, big names. But we have some big names playing as well. The world number one and the world number two from each of the tours. The men and the women are both playing at this stage. Of course, the Olympics starts only in a couple of weeks' time. So a lot can happen in a couple of weeks. We all know that. And the reason why the players are not going is mainly because of the protocols. The strict protocols. There's no crowd's going to be involved and also the quarantine periods the lockdowns everything in tokyo it's not going to be easy for the athletes so that's why they are not going to the olympics because it's just too much effort but for somebody like novak djokovic who is playing for legacy and playing for history i think he has to go i think he has to go to the olympics and play for that gold medal he hasn't got the gold medal yet in his cabinet can he get it at tokyo this year and of course he's won the last three slams australian open french open wimbledon he's gone for the golden slam which hasn't been done since steffi graf back in the 80s so interested to see how Novak Djokovic does and if he does play but a lot of names aren't playing including Federer and Rafa so the Olympic Games they're still going ahead of this stage but some massive names are not playing 